Hi guys, I just put Quinn down for her nap a little bit ago. It's 10.30, but she seemed ready for her first nap so early today. Like she was rubbing her eyes, like burrowing her head in me. And that's always what she does right before she needs her nap. So I just gave her some milk and put her down earlier than I normally would have, but it's been like five minutes and I still hear her. So I just looked on her monitor and she's just like playing, sitting up. She was just clapping. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> She's just sitting in there clapping and having fun with herself. We're actually gonna be lowering her crib when Eric gets home from work today. We've been meaning to do it for like all week, but the times that we think about it are when we take her in there and see that it's up and remember, oh yeah, we need to lower it. And that's when we're like putting her down for a nap or whatever. She hasn't like pulled herself up on the bars or anything, but we definitely know that we need to lower it now. So we're doing that when Eric gets home. I can't believe we're lowering her crib. She's so big. I'm about to do some laundry. started and Quinn is officially asleep so now I'm gonna go in the bathroom and put some towels away bedroom to clean out some stuff in my closet and I keep coming out in the kitchen to do my little updates in between because I don't want to wake her up back there so I literally do stuff back there come out here and vlog go back there I think that's the last thing I have to do back there but yeah I'm gonna clean out my closet I do it pretty often so I usually don't have very much stuff every time but I know there are some things that I want to clean out so I'm gonna do that This is my bag of clothes that I took out of the closet. It's really not that much stuff at all. I usually offer it to my sisters first and then whatever they don't want, I um, have some other people that I give it to. I just made my lunch. You can barely even tell what it looks like because I broke up a bunch of chips in here and I meant to show it first, but this is what it is. I know I've shown this recipe a million times, but if you need a good and easy crock pot meal, you need to make this. Look who's awake. <laughs> now that Quinn's awake, I'm going to put some stuff away in her room. I have a lot of stuff back there that is either like clean laundry that needs put away or stop. Ace is literally trying to pull Quinn's socks off her feet to eat them. She is also officially grown out of six month pajamas, like her full onesies that she wears to bed. That one that she's wearing is six months. So like the ones with no feet still fit her perfectly, but all the ones with feet are too small. So Eric and I went and got a few last night. These are the ones we got. They were just, all of them were on sale at Carter's. So I got her four and then she has this one. This is a nine month one that I already had her wearing for a while. So she can still wear that one. I was actually so disappointed though because normally Ross has like a million baby pajamas like this, even from Carter's for so cheap. So that's where we went to buy pajamas for her. And they were wiped out. Like there was hardly anything in the baby section. It was so weird. Then we went to Carter's because Ross didn't have anything and their racks where they usually have like a million sleepers, they hardly had anything either. So like these ones that I got were kind of like my last choice, but it was all they had. So it was weird. I don't know. My mom got her this one. She actually got this at a garage sale, I think. So this one's cute. I probably won't use it as much for pajamas, maybe just for a warm outfit because I'm trying to avoid anything with snaps because she is so on the move now. It's so hard to like lay her down and keep her on her back long enough for me to snap all of these. It will fit her and it's super cute. Oh, I forgot we also had this one from Target, but it's also snaps. So 
Both of them are cute and she will get use out of them, obviously. I literally just realized that I bought this one with snaps too. Oh well, she'll still use them all, but I definitely like tend to go for the ones with zippers more just because they're so much easier, especially now that she's on the move and just wants to get off the changing table. Like she does not want to lay there and be changed. We should be good on that size now. So I'm going to take all the tags off of the new ones and put them in her little laundry basket so that I can wash them all. I'll probably wash them today. It's not like a big load of laundry, but I don't wanna put her in the six month ones any longer. So I want her to have one of these to wear tonight. This one has little vegetables on it. I couldn't tell if it was... Uh-huh. I couldn't tell if it was super ugly or super cute, but I just got it because there were like not that many options. I love the fabric, but the more I look at it, I think this is so cute. Look at the little faces on the vegetables. This is very cute. Hi guys, it is probably 11.15 and Quinn went down for her first nap a while ago, so I've been getting some stuff done, but I'm about to make another macrame plant hanger and thought I would show you guys because if you stay till the end of my end of my last video, then I was talking about the plant hanger that I had made. And just a recap for anyone that has started watching my videos since Quinn has been born. Right before I got pregnant with Quinn, I was like super into macrame and I made like a bunch of plant hangers in my, in my house. I made a couple for my friends and I was just like so into it. I loved it. And then once I got pregnant, I had no interest in it. I kind of lost interest in literally everything. I didn't want to do videos. You can go watch my first trimester update if you want to know more about it, but I literally like lost an appetite for anything and everything on this planet. <laughs> Macrame being one of those. So I just made my first plant hanger the other day in like over a year. I love macrame. I have lots of macrame things in my house. There's some of them I've made like the plant hangers and then a lot of the wall hangings and stuff I didn't make, I bought. But anyway, a lot of you seemed interested in the plant hanger that I made. I just measured out my string for the plant hanger. It's crazy that you measure out 10 foot string and then the plant hanger is pretty short. Then the two short ones right there are how I start it and end it. I actually just save those when I'm making a plant hanger and cut off the extras at the bottom. And then I usually use those as my starting ones or else I would have to cut new ones. So I figured it's a good way to not waste some of the string. I'm just gonna do a time lapse, I think. I'm not gonna do like a tutorial because that would be an entire video and my channel is not based around macrame. So I'll link the girl's channel below that I watched when I started making my macrames because I literally just watched over YouTube tutorials and then I also have a macrame book that Eric bought when I started out. So I'll try to link that too. But I will set up the camera so you can at least see the process of what it looks like in fast motion. I can also link all the stuff that I use below because I'm super happy with it and it's all just from Amazon. We did drill holes in these little um, wooden beads so that the holes were bigger so it's easier to get the cord through, but, and this thing was like huge when I ordered it, but I've made so many things out of it that it's pretty small now. Like I might be able to do one more plant hanger out of it, but that's probably about it. I let it go for all time's sake. Okay, I just finished the plant hanger. No, I don't normally make these on my front door handle. Eric had literally drilled some hooks into the wall for me in our office when I first started doing this. And then once we had Quinn and like our whole back room situation got rearranged, Ace's crate is right where the hooks are. So I don't really have access to the hooks and it's not exactly easy to just move his crate in and out cause it's pretty big. So for now the front door handle will work. I'm happy with how it turned out, but I do wish I had done the macrame knots down a little further right here because I feel like there's just a lot of blank space and sometimes when you're deciding the pattern in the middle of doing it You don't realize how much blank space you're leaving and I'm just trying to be all crafty and like do different knots and everything And didn't realize that I left like a lot of blank which that still looks cute when it's hanging up The last thing I need to do is trim these ends because they're super long So this is where I get those extra shorter pieces from then those pieces that I trim end up being the starting and ending knots for other plant hangers so the last goodbye is getting me 
and it's officially done. I do like to fray the ends a little bit because I think it looks better when it's a little bit messier. And then these are all the pieces that I cut off the end that are long enough for me to save for future start and end pieces. And then these ones were all too short. So I'm just gonna throw these away because I don't really use those for anything and I'll save those. Quinn just woke up, so that was perfect timing. How was your nap? We literally set up her pack and play last night because we ran out of time to lower her mattress because you literally have to take the entire crib apart to do it. I told Eric when it was way too late thinking that it would just be a quick thing and he was like, you know we literally have to take the entire crib apart. So to be on the safe side, we set up her pack and play <laughs> because we know that this is safe enough. You are so happy. She pulled her socks off during her nap. Actually, it was before she even fell asleep. I saw her do it on the monitor. Good morning. <laughs> I combed her hair to the side today um, before her nap. It looked better before, but since it doesn't stick up straight anymore, yeah, it literally just goes straight down. So I thought it might look better if I like comb it over to the side, and I think it does. This plant hanger in Quinn's room is actually one of the ones that I made two summers ago when I was first getting into macrame. And the plant's not doing too good, but it's actually doing very good considering 99% of the plants in my house have died now. I also have another macrame hanging back there, but that one's just from TJ Maxx. You wanna show everyone your new book? We just got her new book from Dolly Parton's Imagination Library. It might be my favorite one yet. It's so cute. She does not want to show anyone her book. She wants to go for the camera. I'm assuming they sent this one because it's like Valentine's themed and it's adorable. It's I love you spot. I loved spot when I was growing up. So I was so happy when she got this. I love you spot. Pink mom says. Ace, spot surprise is almost ready. I only need one more thing, he says. I love you, Spot. Spot, Mom calls. I've made you a special snack. And I've got something for you, Mom, Spot says. Yes, I see you. Do any of you guys that also get Dolly Parton's Imagination Library books no, if everyone gets the same book every month, like did any of you guys get this one? So whenever I feed Quinn out in the living room, I always, well, most of the time I'll put on a YouTube video to watch. I never end up finishing them because she literally drinks her bottles so fast. But I just found a new YouTuber this morning that I really like so far. I'm not recommending her yet because I've only seen three of her videos and I didn't even watch a couple of them the whole way through because I was kind of just skimming through her channel and stuff. But she might be a future video recommendation. So far, I really, really like her. Look how strong she is, pulling herself up on the chair. Just as the sunrise starts to show, What are you doing? Why is this gate so much more fun than all of your toys? Oh, are we gonna clap? Quinn is back down for her second nap. It's been quite a while, but Eric's on his way home from work right now, so I just made a little snack for us. Strawberries and Nutella have been our favorite thing this week. I make it every day when he's on his way home from work. I just ate a salad too and a little sandwich, and I know Eric is actually starving, but we're going to a birthday party tonight and they're having pizza, so we don't wanna like totally fill up. We are back from the birthday party and we're officially about to lower Quinn's crib. Apparently you have to take the whole crib apart. Ace. He is literally eating every single thing in front of his face right now. Yeah. 
Hi guys, it is the next day and I actually just got done filming two videos. I'm in Quinn's room putting a couple things away and Quinn's actually not here right now. She's at my mom's house. I wanted to end this vlog, but I wanted to show you an update on Quinn's lowered crib. We kind of have a predicament. The crib is super off centered because there is an outlet right here and we knew it was there obviously but when her crib was like up higher she had no access to it but now it's like right at the level of the crib we had to move her crib down she can't reach it right here it looks super close on camera but in person her arms will probably only stick out like this far so our other options would be to move it to this wall but there's also an outlet behind this thing just as low and we can't move it to that wall because obviously we don't want it over this vent. So I think we're either going to have to move the outlet or completely rearrange her room somehow. And I don't even know how because none of the walls are an option right now. So I think we're just gonna have to move the outlet down, which is a project I don't wanna do. We're gonna have to cut a hole in the wall, move it down like a couple feet. It would actually be helpful to have the outlet move down further because it would reach better for the stuff that we have plugged in. But the whole process of moving it down is kind of just an inconvenience, but obviously we're gonna do it to keep Quinn safe. And I don't want her crib off centered like this because that bothers me. I got all of her six month clothes folded up. I need to get a bin to put it in so I can put it away. So sad, she wore these things so many times. I just made strawberries and Nutella again for a little editing snack. I know this looks like a total mess right here. But this is my plants chilling in the sun with water. These are the three plants that are basically left in my house right now. I always start out with so many in the summer and then by like February, most of them are dead. But since it was sunny today, I opened up the door and gave them some water and let them sit in the sun. I didn't even try with this one. I know it still has some green, but I'm pretty sure it has root rot, according to my sister. <laughs> you can kind of tell at the bottom. This one has been through a lot, so I think I'm just gonna throw this out at some point and get a nicer one. And maybe Ace won't tear it to shreds and it will last a little longer. A little pointless update that I thought I would share. Our couch broke. The leg is literally stuck up inside the couch. The back leg is broken too, but luckily it's still on the bottom of the couch and not up inside of it yet, but they've broken before. Eric has always been able to fix them, but this time this one is just too far gone. They're cheap couch legs off of Amazon. Do not get them. I'm about to put this clip into my vlog because I have the rest of it pretty much edited. I wanted to put it up today, so I'm a little bit behind, but hopefully I'll be able to upload it tomorrow. Or if I edit quick right now, I might get it up today. I don't know, that's unlikely. I'm gonna do a couple shout outs. The first one is gonna go to Janice Michalowski. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I always appreciate your comments on my videos. Thank you so much for watching and always leaving me a nice comment to read. The second shout out is gonna go to Alyssa and Bryson and you guys also leave me a nice comment on every single video and I always look forward to reading them. I'm not doing a channel recommendation today but I think I will have one in my next video so stay tuned for that and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye guys. Say bye everyone. I need a haircut super bad. I let it go for all time's sake I let you stay in my mind When every minute bends and breaks Always a little bit behind Don't know if life is a small